to me, I know you're a wreck, you can't sleep, you're shitting blood, and you're telegraphing your anxiety to your pets. <laughs> this is supposed to be our moment. Tomorrow, girls who were born before women could vote will have the chance to cast their ballot for a woman. Well, not according <laughs> to certain subreddits, but if she is a hermaphrodite lizard, that too would be groundbreaking. And yet none of us have gotten to savor this historic election like we should. It's been like running a marathon while a bear is chasing you. <laughs> we might be really proud, but it kind of gets lost in all the mortal terror, because evidently a critical mass of Americans find a normal center-left policy nerd less likable than a vindictive pussy-grabbing hate Zamboni who <laughs> jokes about killing his enemies. Not that disliking Hillary is a cottage industry or anything. The author of the brand new book, Unlikable, The Problem with Hillary. It's the perfect gift for the man who has everything and wants to give none of it up. Now, <laughs> if you don't like how Hillary Clinton seems like a fake politician robot, here's how that happened. Spoiler alert, it was our fault. We created her by slowly tearing down a badass feminist named Hillary Rodham. Let's take the full frontal TARDIS back four or five decades and meet her. After hearing Martin Luther King speak and attending the 1968 Democratic National Convention, young Hillary Rodham became the first woke white girl. She started adult life fierce as fuck. Her classmates selected Hillary, the first student at Wellesley, to give a commencement address. For too long, our leaders have viewed politics as the art of the possible. And the challenge now is to practice politics as the art of making what appears to be impossible possible. She was called a voice of her generation. I guess the Wellesley grads were applauding so loud they couldn't hear how shrill that voice was. <laughs> After graduating Yale Law School as one of 27 women in a class of 235, Hillary had to decide, hmm, should I run for Congress or save this hillbilly from his own wandering dick for the next couple <laughs> decades? I swear to God, if she decided the other way, history might have been very different. And today's 30-year-olds wouldn't have learned what sex was from the Star Report. <laughs> what possessed the voice of a generation to leave Washington? Hillary had a number of high-powered opportunities in Washington, but she had a secret of her own. She fails the D.C. bar exam and is devastated by it. When I learned that I had passed in Arkansas but failed in D.C., I thought that maybe my test scores were telling me something. She said she believed it was a sign that she should move to Arkansas to be with Bill. Oh my God, woman! You fail one test and decide to go become a politician's wife in Arkansas? Most women only do that when they fail a pregnancy test. <laughs> if she thought a human Free to Be You and Me album was gonna be embraced with open arms by a state where pigs are headwear, she soon learned otherwise. She looked different. She insisted on using her maiden name. Does it concern you that maybe other people feel that you don't fit the image that we have created for the governor's wife in Arkansas? It possibly could have cost him a few votes because your name is not the same, of his, uh, the same as his. I'm sure that it probably did, and I regret that very much. Yes, the voters made their opinion clear. If Hillary Rodham wanted to keep her last name, she should have married a relative like everyone else in Arkansas. <laughs> This was in 1979, just five years after women were allowed to get their own credit cards, four years after women were allowed to serve on all juries, and three years after women were allowed to be bionic in public. <laughs> when Bill lost his re-election bid after raising taxes, it was obvious whose fault it was. I think Bill would be the first to say he made some real mistakes that first term. Well, now, you may have made some first uh, mistakes in that first term, too. I have in mind for the fact that you were first lady, but you kept your that's maiden right. name. And that's where Hillary learned her resting fuck the press face. <laughs> so the good wife caved and got an Arkansas makeover, which contrary to popular opinion, does not involve cutting the sleeves off your shirt, buying a pack of Winstons and getting a Confederate flag tattoo. She became Mrs. Clinton and she uh, changed her looks. And she started taking more of an interest in clothing. And of course, she cut her hair. It was like, ah, now we have a first lady. <laughs> Just to put it to rest, I will uh, forever be known as uh, Hillary Rodham Clinton. Oh, girl, don't say forever. Just say the word in January and Loretta Lynch can serve that cheating son of a bitch divorce papers while Tim Kaine changes the locks on the White House door. <laughs>
The higher her husband's aspirations went, the more shit Mrs. Bill Clinton would take for speaking her mind. When she defended Sir Shags a lot on 60 Minutes, America somehow got angrier at her than at him. I'm not sitting here as some little woman standing by my man like Tammy Wynette. I'm sitting here because I love him and I respect him and I honor what he's been through and what we've been through together. That is not the Tammy Wynette song I thought she was going to reference. <laughs> Would America rally behind a wronged woman and demand she get an apology? Well, yes. I must tell you, Tammy Wynette is hopping mad. And I'm sorry about that. And I, I apologize to Tammy Wynette. Luckily, they patched things up before Hillary Vince fostered Tammy in 1998. <laughs> if lawyer girl didn't know how to behave like a proper president's wife, America would teach her. That she no longer be seen as the key strategist, as the de facto chief of staff, because they said it was giving Bill a reputation for weakness where he might not be able to win re-election. With her husband's re-election at stake, she agreed to withdraw. She stayed away from the West Wing and transformed herself once again. Hi, how are you all? Well, welcome to the White House and to the beginning of the uh, Christmas season here. And it worked. With her help, Bill Clinton was re-elected in 1996. Oh my God, Hermione became a pageant girl just to get us to like her. Not that it worked. We still let Congress drag Hillary's uppity ass in to testify whenever they notice a pile of taxpayer money and decide, say gents, shall we waste this on a witch hunt? If I were Hillary, I would have dumped America by now. But she's terrible at knowing when to leave a relationship. <laughs> my point is, Hillary Clinton has spent the past 40 years learning to mask her authenticity. Ever since the so-called natural state couldn't accept a normal human woman in her natural state with her own name and her brown hair and identity independent from the dude she was boning, don't expect grandma to pivot on a dime now that authenticity is suddenly cool. Look, if you can't bring yourself to vote for Hillary Clinton, I get it. I'm not voting for Hillary Clinton either. I'm voting for Hillary goddamn brilliant badass queen Beyonce Rada. I have a hunch she's still in there. We'll be right back.